channel where we're gonna do something a little bit different today I just got in from a show and I have decided to bring you guys along with me to drink some decaf coffee and relax and answer some questions that other people have had here lately about myself um, so I invite you to sit down relax enjoy some non caffeinated beverage and um, just settle in later on I'll be interviewed by my favorite little buddy um, so I hope you enjoy it. That's a good question. Um, I've always been attracted to music, I suppose. Um, the other day I was at a concert and a <laughs> lady came up to me and said, are you a singer? I'm like, yes. Do you want to lodge a complaint? It depends on the context. And she's like, no, no, I got to see you um, perform one time and I remembered that you were the little girl that I babysat when I was 13 and you were a year old. I thought, wow, how cool. And um, she came up to me at a show and she said, oh, I used to remember, we used to dance around the kitchen to Alan Jackson all day and that was what little Jade wanted to do 24-7 was listening to Alan Jackson music. Um, Mom tells me that when I was two, I refused to go to bed unless I heard Chattahoochee first. Why that song, I don't know. But it did, my parents were always really encouraging in liking music, especially country music, and I've always loved it. So how did I get started on the fiddle? Well, I think I was maybe five or six and um, we lived in New Mexico and my parents took me to see a concert at the Cactus Theater in Lubbock. And none of us can really remember what concert it was. It might've just been, you know, a tribute concert to whatever band, but I remember the fiddle and I remember being so enthralled with the fiddle. Like, I have to have one, I have to do that. And that's what I thought. And later that year for Christmas, I got one. I think I was six or seven and I started lessons and it's just been kind of a snowball effect from there. I started getting really serious about fiddling when I was 12 um, after Camp Bluegrass at South Plains College in Loveland, Texas. And that just, that just changed my world. actually almost a hundred years old which is really cool it was made in 1925 um, by it's a German maker so excuse me Heinrich Herbelein jr. in Machnoykirk in Germany which is like southeastern Germany and I really love it there's a better view of the back and sides I've had a little bit of work done on, on it on the past and I need to have some more done. I have a small, it's not small, <laughs> but I have a crack developing underneath the tailpiece that I need to have fixed at some point and another one near the fretboard. But I had it out um, during a photo shoot in 2019 and <laughs> there, um, instead of a plastic piece of wire that runs over here, there used to be a wax coated twine um, and it got too cold and it snapped and it threw a giant crack right down the center, huge crack in the fingerboard. Um, I had to ship it to Nashville to be repaired because I don't do that kind of extensive repairs uh, in my area of the country. And UPS lost it. This thing went from, you know, Lubbock to 
Dallas to Memphis, Tennessee, and then it went to Ohio, and then it went to Arizona, back to Texas, back to Tennessee, to Knoxville this time, then into Kentucky, and then it finally, after three and a half weeks of me frantically tearing out my hair looking for this thing, um, it made it to Nashville, and they were able to repair it. But I use an LR Bags pickup on it. It's just a bridge pickup, has a wire that comes up to this bridge here, and that's where the sound comes from. I use a Coda bow, which is pretty industry standard, and it's my first, you know, big girl purchase. Um, and I really love it. The balance is really nice. As far as my mandolin goes, I don't have it on me, but I use a Pava mandolin, which I'm convinced are the greatest brand on earth. Um, and they're actually made in Texas by a maker in Austin, and you should check them out. That's all folks. Thanks so much for tuning in and please like and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content. And I'd love to post another video about this. Thank you.